Hello everyone, welcome to our second video of the day on Know Your Chromebooks and today we'll be testing a vast mobile security for Android on my Asus Chromebook. So as the name suggests, it is a security app, it's an antivirus program and it's done by Avast. It's also available for Windows and Mac as it is on Android and it means that we can protect all our Android devices including my Chromebook because it has the capability to run Android. Okay, so that is what we'll be doing. Okay, so I haven't opened the Google Play Store and have the Avast mobile security app presented, so we're just going to do that now. Show navigate search button. Show navigation draw search open. And so Avast, by the way, also do a cleanup utility, which we featured yesterday in my video. And it's just installing now. So as you can probably see that we we'll return to the app homepage, which therefore means that we don't have a permission list part of the installation. Permissions are what an app can access on your device to enable it and its features to one. And because we don't have that, we either have to do two things. We either go into the app info section or we allow these permission requests, which come in the form of pop-ups and deal with those. The problem is with these pop-ups is that can be very disorientating for screen reader users because that can disorientate them with in the app. Now because the Chrome OS update that I am using now, it has made changes to the launcher which therefore means that the most recent and installed apps wouldn't appear first. So we have to search for Avast ourself. Avast mobile menu. Now normally these antiviruses and cleanup utilities require additional permissions, not just all the permissions that you see in the permissions section. And that can be a bit problematic. And it's also inconsistent as well. So so as you can see that it did have permissions which meant it can access a ton of information on your device but because it's an antivirus program we want to make sure that our device is in running order so I'm not going to be all that critical on the amount of permissions it desires. So in the advanced section we have more permissions that we have to tick. Modify system settings, again it's a antivirus program. And then we could either do two things again, we could either have another permission request or we can go round and allow another permission which we're going to do in this video. So one of the permissions is the ability to protect you from unsafe links. And um, that is the web shield feature. And I think what happens is the a vast mobile security needs to analyze or become active when a certain condition is met. And to enable it to do that, we actually need to go to accessibility. Main, Linux, Google 
Play Store. When it, um, on the Android part, when we talk about accessibility, we don't mean clicking on menu and finding the accessibility icon and allowing it that way. That is for your Chrome OS. Because it's on Android, we need to go to a different accessibility setting in a different way. So as you can see that we have clicked on the settings on the status tray, navigated to Google Play Store, clicked on that, and then next to the remove and map buttons, we have a button which takes us to our Android settings, not our Chrome OS settings. Okay. Under system, we go to accessibility. Services, a vast cleanup, a vast mobile security off. And under services, which display the additional services that we have installed, we click on the vast mobile security. And off, switch off. Click off. Cancel. Okay. Button. And okay. And at last, we can get wound to launching the app. Now you don't have to do it this long and bulky way, but the reason why I did it is we don't have any permission request to contend with. Now as you probably saw in our other videos in the past, that there was some sort of mix up over the anti-theft app. Now sometimes, or in some cases, the Avast mobile security only displayed shortcuts you had to install the anti-theft app itself or you had to pay to get the anti-theft service and then it sort of had anti-theft built in i'm not too sure what it is now but it is quite confusing as you can obviously it's got adverts so it warns you about that we continue with ads because the Chrome Vox now does everything as opposed to Chrome Vox for Chrome OS and Google Talkback for Android, it also gives us the opportunity to see how these apps handle and, and work with each other. Close. A vast mobile security. So, so far using my Chrome Vox commands is a bit a problematic. So I think because I've got this screen recorder running in the background and the Upgrade. app itself, it's probably a bit slow loading and hence why the Chrome Vox is not reading everything to me scan. just yet. Button. Okay, so we get the scan icon, scan. which we will plus. click on. Now, one of the changes that Chrome Vox has introduced is the ability to use the touchpad throughout Chrome OS and Android. With the old system, you can only use the touchpad in a limited number of apps. Then, when Chrome Vox was more streamlined, you could use a touchpad in Android apps. And now, a recent update means that you can use a touchpad for nearly everything. Uh, but we're we just going to see what we get when we use the touchpad. Oh, oh I probably window. need to. Now let's let's not uh, play around for now. I think I've got an issue that has come up. Window. Win window. Navigate. Ignore. Enable. Alerts you when you receive a malicious SMS. Shield disabled. Our oh, SMS shield disabled because this is a Chromebook. I can't obviously make calls and text from that. But what I might do, I actually just let's ignore it. But normally, if it was your phone, then you know, obviously, you would turn that on and not ignore it like I've just done. But again, as I said because I'm using a Chromebook, then 
if I can't have the ability to send text and messages, then it probably will make sense why I've ignored that. Okay, so one of the things we mentioned was the anti-theft. And we're just gonna have to we're just gonna have a browse around and see what's happening. So it's got clean junk. It's obviously got some features or shortcuts integrated with it. However, I think the VPN hang on wait. Let's... So it got clean junk. It probably detects whether I have the Avast Cleaner installed and therefore it had told me about that protect your phone for thieves attempt you can actually scan your wi-fi network which is quite good minimize and charge effectively boost trial at home remove ads pro Help remove app lock anti-theft okay so we're just going to see what we get with anti-theft minimize I don't think this will be working to its full potential. The anti-theft feature will be working to its full potential on the Chromebook because the Android is running alongside Chrome OS, so it will be side-loaded. So if you often hear that term, then one is running in, one is running alongside the other, and because of that, some Android features are limited and one of them is the device administrative service I can't access that too well Press so the anti-theft feature would need that to lock your device Scroll view. Off, switch off. okay off tri trial ends in 14 days off automatic lockout triggers Hence, when device is marked as lost Device, okay, so it's got a list of options there. And it's got pin security. And it's actually got a feature where it can record the surrounding audio by you setting a command remotely from another device. And it lets you see what is happening around the lost or stolen device, which is very good actually. I hadn't seen that on a anti theft service before. Uh, device web control on my.avast.com. SMS command. History. So, when is that? Okay. Alert. Well, to conclude this video, the Avast mobile security seems fairly easy to use. Although we did allow all the permissions. In the long and bulky process, you know, as I said in the video, you don't have to allow it that way. But the reason why I did was so we don't have any permission request while we are using the app to our heart's content. But again, you know, it's up to you. The setup process was fairly easy. Navigating around the app was fairly easy. And overall, I think I will recommend it. So, when is that? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos to come, and I will see you soon.